Hello, I'm Lorison at Upper Valley Honda. Today I want to show you everything you have to look forward to in the 2022 Honda Passport. New for 2022 is the Trail Sport trim level. This is halfway in the lineup, so if you'd like to get some more rugged off roady upgrades over the EXL and don't want as many features as you have in the Elite, this will be perfect for you. Some of the touches that you get in the Trail Sport that I really like are the 18 inch rugged style all season tires on gray rims. Black roof rails up top. Under the hood, the 2022 Honda Passport packs a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6, making 280 horsepower, but still averaging 19 miles to the gallon in the city and 24 on the highway. Now, this engine from Honda is going to be warranted for five years and 60,000 miles, as well as all the other internally lubricated parts in the powertrain. As a perk of purchasing the vehicle from Upper Valley Honda, we're going to give you 10 years and 100,000 miles on that powertrain warranty. This is in addition to the three years and 36,000 mile factory limited coverage that you'll be receiving from Honda as well. The Passport also has tons of great convenience features like keyless entry, as well as keyless lock. If you want, you can set up lockway auto lock so the vehicle will automatically lock itself when you get out of the vehicle as long as you have the key in your pocket. Using this key, I can also start the vehicle. Hit the lock button, hold down the start button, and then from 180 feet away, the Passport will turn itself on. You can also turn the car off this way. Now, regardless of trim level, every single Passport is gonna come chock full of great features. Uh, some of the most important of those being safety features. You can see this in the Honda Sensing Suite. This includes a radar up front that allows you to use adaptive cruise control and collision mitigation braking, as well as a camera in the windshield that can see lane lines for road departure mitigation and lane keeping assist. The electric tailgate is also standard. I can open this from the key fob, by the driver's seat, or with a button on the back of the tailgate. There is tons of room on the inside, which is configurable. You can open this for some space or raise that for even more. The driver can enjoy loads of great features on the inside of the Passport. In order to control the Honda Sensing Suite, you'll be able to do that right on the steering wheel. Just click on the main button. You can see that your systems are armed and then you can start your adaptive cruise control and start your lane keeping assist right from the steering wheel. If you wanna control your music and other media, you can do that on the left side. I have volume controls right here, as well as the ability to change the tracks and music I'm listening to, as well as source for Sirius XM, Bluetooth, and more. If you wanna change the information displayed in the screen in front of you, you just have to hit the home button, and this will bring up a list of options that can be displayed here. You can see your trip information, monitor how much power is going to each wheel with all-wheel drive torque, which brings us to your intelligent torque vectoring all-wheel drive system that you have on the uh, bottom of the gear selector right here. This will bring up a dedicated screen showing you your different modes. You have normal, snow, mud, and sand, depending on where you're driving your passport. Additional safety feature options can be found to the left of the driver's seat. For instance, you have parking sensors, collision mitigation braking, road departure mitigation, and unique to the 22 Passport, you have the option to heat the glass under where your windshield wipers sit. Very handy uh, during a icy winter morning. For tech and convenience features, you have built-in navigation through Garmin as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto if you prefer to use your phone. Speaking of your phone, you do have a wireless phone charger as well. This is rubberized so that your phone won't slip around while you're driving. There are heated seats for your passenger as well as the driver. And speaking of seating situations for the driver, there are position memory seats as well. Not to mention electric power folding mirrors. And finally, tons of really cool orange trail sport stitching and logos on the interior. One of the reasons you may want to go with the Honda Passport over the CRV is for added legroom. If you're carrying around adults often, you're going to get a lot more space back here, as well as nice features like sunshades and tons of cup holders.
There is a lot to love about the 2022 Honda Passport. So if you'd like to know more, let me know. My phone number is 802-436-2235. Thank you very much.